Thank you for being here. Welcome to the Throne Stones 36th live show. I think 36 we are on now. Hope you had a good week. Yeah, rockin'. So that's called a beer and bow. That is a single string piece of metal. Originally came out of Angola, traveled to Brazil in the 1800s, and turned into the leading instrument of capoeira, which is a martial arts form in Brazil that they were using as a dance to hide their martial arts training and they have certain phrases that go along with that and all this stuff so yeah it's good, it's good stuff that's my little uh, pierce the veil device it's pretty uh, impactful to go instantly to this other realm and world that that just instantly to, boom there you go on the other side it doesn't take but a couple minutes Anyways, thanks for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, what do we got going on? Let's see. I haven't been here in two weeks. So we got some stuff. We got some new stuff. Some new stuff. We got some old stuff. We got some discounted stuff. We got some of the usual stuff. We got all the stuff. You know how it is. Hope you guys had a good week. Good double week. Welcome to the shit show. Yes, the shit show. The Rusty James and Nicole shit show <laughs> no it's awesome we're not shit show <laughs> i'm sure you'll see the dogs the dogs will make an appearance let's see what we're going to say we're going to say something funny tonight to make a claim push some buttons and pay your bills on time happy joy Okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> Pin the tail on the comment. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, look, there are 17. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are flipping around and showing you some rocks. You don't need to see my face very much. Hello, everyone. Hello, Chimey and Philosopher Stone and all of the people who joined here who may still be here. They're waiting to see all of the pretties. <laughs> okay, doc, let's do it. There, we can spin it around. Let's see. So that's what am I going to show you first tonight? First thing I'm going to show you tonight is I'm going to give you some big discounts on some of these mango quartzes that we've got here. There's some pretty good ones that are nice and aesthetic and all of that, you know. Oh, look, there's flowers and stuff. All right. Greetings and good evening, all of yins. Have we got this one random piece in this box? I don't know. I guess we'll start with that. I don't even know what it is. No, we know what it is. Let's see. We got this. This is an Etchingite plate from 2009 from the Kalahari Manganese Fields. It's the only one I've got. It's really cool. It's a neat mineral. You know, it's rare. It's one of the mineral thingies. It's on a piece of slate. Oh, look, it's another side. I didn't even know. Pretty cool. Awesome Etchingite. Marked at 200. We're going to take $140 tonight for that one. Etching art, get it going, ready to go. All right, that was just a random piece. We got some mango quartz now here. What's going on with this? So we got little thingies here. Nice little matrix pieces. Little doubly terminated thing on it. No, it's not. It's tricking me. I thought it was doubly terminated. We got some little tips here with some mango in it. Nice little cross hatchings going on in there. You know, there's the back and all that stuff. Pretty thingy, what you call it. We're gonna do, we got 120 on that. We're gonna take $90 for that tonight. That's pretty damn good for one of these thingies. Let's see what we got. Let's see, we got one of these. We've got a few of these. Here we go. Okay. There's a nice little cluster with the nice mango y stuff going on. Mango is a, uh, there's somebody called a mango because it looks like a mango. It's kind of self healed on the bottom there. It's included by Halo, Halo site, Halo site, Halo, Halo site, yes, hell, hello, hell, my eyesight. <laughs> there goes my light when I said it. All right, here we go. So this little cluster here, you can see the luster on the cluster, and you can see the Halo site on the inside. Yeah, it's going on there too, and a little self healing going on. So this one we got marked at ninety dollars tonight. We're going to take sixty five dollars. This is the blowout mango deal. Nine, nine, six tonight. We're going to get rid of them. 
Oh, no. Uh, no, are you? No, you're supposed to be doing that. <laughs> oh, no, she's already, she's, she's already complaining. <laughs> all right, all right. Next, what we got here, let's see. Here's another cluster with a big fat crystal on the matrix. Like this with the twin. This one we can do sixty dollars tonight. Nine nine eight. Sixty dollars. Oh, what you're doing? You're making a mess on my paper. <laughs> don't don't do it. Yeah, she's going to strike. She's going to strike <laughs> strike strike, strike, strike me in the back of the head. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Oh man. <laughs> These little things get a little bit dirty, so if you get one, there's some dirt, dirt coming off. Don't lose it. Don't have a cow, man. Here's another one of these cross-hatching thingy-ma-bobbers. Look at it. It's sticking up with some things there. Oh, really? The first one was 90, the next one was 65, the next one was 60. This one is going to be 70, 70, 70 dollars. All of our prices are in US dollars. 70 dollars. Man, that's probably what I paid for it. But we're blowing it out. So, blow it out already. Oh, God, you're getting me dirty. What, you can't handle it. Another wash. Okay. This is a nice one. Really pretty and aesthetic. It's got a juicy, juicy mango top and some juicy other thingies on the side and all of that. It's nice and complete. It's beautiful. It's aesthetic. It's got a single crystal there. It's just like, hello, and you turn it, you know, like this. It's like, oh, it's so, I'm so pretty. Look at me. You could put it in one of those little fancy bases and stuff and put a million dollars on it. 280 is marked price, and tonight we're going to do 230 on that. That's a good deal. That's an Alan Palermo deal right there, tell you what. <laughs> All right, here's another one that's really good. This one doubly terminated with the little bend right there. Standing up really nice on my tricks and stuff. Yes, good price. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, look. It's all mango-y and there's things going on in there, you know, and pretty. Look, it's on the matrix and stuff. It's got a V and a doubly terminated thing. And this one. We got 140. We're going to do 120 on that. Bill, what do you mean, man? I was there. I just took to, I took off last week. We went to the beach. Last weekend, we went to the beach. I had to take some time off. So this was 120, that one. That one there is pretty. That one there, 120. I'll tell you foot. All right, got one more. Got one more. Little cutie pie. Standing up on that rock. Look there. The hair's free. Don't don't you mind that there. That hair that we charge extra for that. All right, what do we got here? Let's we got one, one. That's a four. We got one four. We're gonna take a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks on that. Nine nine nine. Yeehaw! Look, stands up and all that. All right, Nicole, take it away. Take it away, Sam. They're making a mess. Mm -hmm. Tell you what. All right. Oh, Karen Doyle. That's another. That's a new account or something. You had an extra backup. Unless it's a different Karen Doyle, but it can't be. Karen Doyle. It's so funny. I was just thinking about you earlier. I was like, I haven't seen her. I wonder when she's going to come back. And hey, you are. Look, oh, we manifested it. <laughs> I was also thinking about Steve. And Steve, Texan kid. I was wondering when, he, when he's going to come back. He's going to come back in here and we're going to have to make all kind of penis jokes and we're going to sell him some phallic rocks and stuff and maybe some jewelry. Okay, what's next? What are we going to do? Oh, let's see. I showed these once. I don't know if you've seen them yet, but here's some crazy stuff. 
This is, uh, what do you call this? A Gobi agates from the Gobi Desert in northwest China. I found these in the, in this crazy market in Beijing when I was there a bunch of years ago. Three years, four, I don't even remember. Three years ago, I think it was. Went to this market and I was like, what the hell is going on with this? This agate that's just formed in the craziest way you ever thought. It's like, got this extra layer that's like all weird. And I don't even know what to say about it. Look at this. Look at this, it's like little bone cell structures and stuff. It's just like all over it. It's just like, oh my God, it's almost got a face. I don't even know what to say about that. It's just a cool rock. These are weird. I got like one, two, three. There's like six or seven of them. They're kind of big. They're a little bit expensive, but they're just weird. I was like, oh my God, I can't not have any of these. I've never seen anything like it before. So that one's marked 300. 300 on that one. That's, you know, not too bad. It's not too bad. They wanted a bunch of money for these things. It's weird. It's crazy looking things. Look at this. This is a Gobi agate from the Gobi Desert in northwest China. Up there where, you know, it's cold and stuff. <laughs> all right, all right. Look, look. Check this weird thing out. This is super weird. You got to really want to be into some weird, weird agates and stuff. It's like, what the hell's going on here? See, especially, I got great powers. 325... We're gonna we'll do that one for 300 also. Gotta love you some agates. Super strange, huge. Look at this, it's like an organ. I don't know what organ, I don't know what kind of what kind of being that's from, but it's like, a, there's an organ there. This one kind of looks like a bird or something. I don't even know. It's so weird. Super strange Gobi agates. Colorful ones. I do have little colorful ones, but they're all, all the colorful ones are little. I can show those sometime too. Uh, this one, 350. Uh, yeah, 350. That one's, that one's strange. Uh, I do have little colorful ones. I used to, I sold some in lives, one of the first couple lives a long time ago. This one I call the turtle. It's got a little mangled turtle head coming out of a turtle shell. It's got, I don't know, whatever it is. It's cool though. It's just like a turtle. Really does look like a show. It's cool, except, except it's feet are, it's feet are hiding. Got 175 on that one. Ah. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. We got a few more of these. Got a couple more of these weird Gobi agates. They got all kinds of stuff going on here. Look at this, like a little spider web. Spider web agate, sweet, crazy weird stuff. Super, super weird. Mm -hmm. uh, these are Gobi agates from Northwest China. I found them in a, a stone market in Beijing like three years ago and I fell in love with them. I was like, what is this? This is so weird. It's just like, it's the strangest agate of all time agate does some weird stuff usually it's the inside of agate that's really exciting but uh, this is all about the outside and it looks like all kinds of weird stuff anyways gobi agates yeah they're really cool that one's 250 here's the size it's like that a couple hundred grams all right what well, i got three more of these then we're gonna move on to something else here's a big nice plate like little flower sprays and stuff going on in here. Super weird. Mm, okay. Half the stuff that's in, half the reason rocks are interesting to me is because of just oddity, weird shapes and things that look like other things. I mean, this looks like moss and other aspects of nature, yeah. things, you'd, things you'd see in the woods or in the desert or just, it's just weird. Rocks and minerals cross over into the plant like so much and also into anthropomorphic type stuff too which is also really fun crystallography is cool too you know why does this thing grow like this and create this shape and knowing the rare crystallographies and things is like super important and awesome and sometimes just aesthetically like what's well, something that has pattern is weird I and mean, this is really what 
attracts me to a lot of the minerals that come my way and this is no exception this one is 365 Here's a smaller one. Yeah, I mean, they had these things for like two, three, five thousand dollars $5,000 too. They had some that were crazy, and I was like, no. Yeah, mycelium-like or in, under a microscope, like inside. The, yeah, it's just indicative of life in some strange capacity. Really weird stuff. Anyways, this one is 250. And I got one more. It's a little bit smaller. It's very brain like and vein like. Gobi agate is from the Northwest China, really weird, strange, crazy <laughs> things. Like a nose. That one, yeah, that one's a nose. Hey, watch out for your nose. So we got 190 on that one. And let's see, we can fit a couple more pieces on this page. That's all of those. We got some of the random stuff here that might be of interest. This is a really nice Saladonite quartz from Madagascar with the little green phantoms. Come on, there you go. Little green phantom is up in there, Madagascar courts. Oh, forget about it. What do you mean? Wait, don't, don't fade. Hey, come on, what are you talking about? Forget about it. All right, yeah, okay, here we go. We got this green saladonite crystal. That one's $150. Nice little cluster there. I'm gonna take 120. 120 on that. You get that? Did you get that? Here's a nice big fat purple spinel from Tanzania. Look at this giant thing. Ay yo, ay yo. Big fat purple spinel from Tanzania. Look at the size of this thing. It's like huge. These things, everything that comes out of Tanzania is expensive, it seems. These things are just, there's an old piece. Look at that. We got some nice faces. Nice octahedral shape going on here. We got we got 350 on that one. Tonight we're gonna take 300 on that one. 300 on the spinel. And what do we got here? Yeah, we got one of these. This is uh, from Art and Villa Mine in Messina. This is specular hematite in a triplet crystal. We got one, two, three here going on. Wurtzite. Hey, what do you mean, Wurtzite? That's the worst stuff I, that's the worst I ever seen. I don't know about no Wurtzite, man. I got Wurtzite on the bottom of my feet. I don't know. You got any Wurtzite? Anyways. <laughs> hey, look. Specular hematite. Arts and Villa, 2010. There's a little bit of Ahoite in here somewhere. There's like a little dot, a little tiny bit right there. You, but, you know, we ain't even... That's just a bonus. So we got a... Uh, we got 150 on that one. We're going to be nice and take 120 on that. That's a beautiful, amazing crystal here from the Messina area in South Africa. It's one of my favorite places in the whole world... The whole wide world for rocks. It's a beautiful, amazing place. Okay, Nicole, help. Okay. Take it away. Phenakai, what's that? That's that ugly white mineral that people love. They love it for no reason. No, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's got all this positive energy. It's high vibration stone. Yeah, it's amazing. It's phenakai. It's pretty cool. Phenakai actually was like, sort of, at least in my experience with phenakai, it seems like it's got popular be primarily because of metaphysics and then it like sort of took off also in gem crystal land i mean i'm sure there was people that were collecting them before the people who really got into it for metaphysics but it seems like metaphysics blew that one up same thing with ahawite 
It's like the metaphysical marketing on that blew that up in the metaphysical world, and then like it kind of crossed over into the collector world, and then the prices got crazy because of that. It's interesting how that works. There's not a lot of minerals that are like that. This is one of those Chibuku amethysts with a scepter right here. You know, was, I think it's even like almost double terminated. You know, that part right there is. Oh, Chibuku, bless you. Yeah, we got this one 200. We're going to take 150. That's a pretty nice big crystal there for 150. Yeah, we'll show you what's going on. It's like all these multi terminated things going on in there. Yeah, look, all right. Amethyst and purple and all that stuff. 3016, 150. We got these Varicite. It's like turquoise. These are clamshells, I think. Pseudomorphs, uh, turquoise after clamshell kind of deal from Nevada. This is from the Verity Web Mine. I don't know if this is actually a clamshell. I don't think it is. But either way, it's a nice Varicite nugget. It's pretty awesome these also cut and make great cabochons this is a small find in nevada 1980 it's very similar to something that's produced today but i can't remember what it's called uh it doesn't matter um, but really cool uh, this came out of a collection in japan that i bought about five years ago and this one is marked 300 we're going to take 250 on that it's a nice hunk a Verisite with some aesthetic nugget pleasure value. Nugget pleasure. This one here. That one's kind of like, I don't know if it's... Which one? The first one? Yeah. This one's like a turtle or something. I was watching the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little slow. Yeah, you probably got to lag a little bit. This one's kind of like a turtle or like a TRB. TRB3. Space Voyager here. Look at that. You can go under the water here and you can come up and go in out of space. Just like that. Your Verisite. Same deal. 300. Take 250. 3014. Beautiful. Beautiful Verisite nuggets. Oh my goodness. From the Verde Web mine. V E R D E like green in Spanish. Green in Spanish. Some Verde Web. You know what I mean? Except they don't talk back there. You know what I mean back there in Nevada. Look at this nugget, man. It's, it's so cute. It's a nugget. Versite nuggets. Biggins. Big old Versite nuggets. That one there is 200. We're going to mark it down to 150. Yeehaw. All right, we got one more of them, and then we're done. Then I'll show you the good stuff. No, we ain't going to show you that one. That was, just, that was just a piece of rough. All right. What's going on? Let's do these. Maybe you like these. Some prophecy stone. What is this? Okay, it's a left-hand pedanera. Uh, this is out of left field. Pedanera tourmalines. I have one, like, six-inch pedanera tourmaline that is repaired in the center. But it's really nice. Double terminated from the blue green pocket back in 2004. Uh, but first, we're going to do some prophecy stones. But if you didn't be interested in that, Bill, we can talk about that. I do have a couple other. I have a really nice pet and arrow with some lipidolite that's about that tall. Hey, A, hey, Nicole. Bill's saying A. Hey. So we're going to do prophecy stones. Hey, Nicole says A. Hey. hey, take it easy. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, give me a pizza with nothing. Nothing? <laughs> okay, Prophecy Stone. Look, these are this one's underpriced like you wouldn't believe. It's amazing, crazy cool crystal. What do you call it? We got, yeah, $50 on that. 591 $50. Bill, I'll show you those after the show because they're not in front of me now. Let's do it. Let try to figure that out later. Then you don't have any competition because everybody's going to be like, oh, man, I want that rock. And they're going to steal it from you. You're going to be like, what the fuck, Rusty? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's do that in private message. We can do it. Yeah, Prophecy Stone. This one here is $30. That was F on the turkey voice. Yay. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> $30 on that little spiky-ass Prophecy Stone. 
Yeah, it's got an attitude. It's spiky. It's gonna, it's gonna spike you. Look at this one here. Nine ninety one. Where's that? Five ninety one. Five ninety one. Five ninety one. Yes, that's a good one. Yes. Good, it is. good job, Alan. This little little bugger here for fifteen. Fifteen. Five nine four. This one is like an. This one is a club. They were using it like a mace, but the whole thing is a mace. It's like a Viking tool, they kick your ass. This one we are having for thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. You can pay in three installments through your pager. Spiky one, spiky one. Alan, you should buy this one too. Look, it's cheap, twenty-five dollars. Six oh seven. Here's another one. These are pseudomorphs of marcasite into limonite or something like that, hematite, all that shit. You know how it is. Like those with no brakes. Hey, put the brakes on, okay? It only they only come so good, all right? If you want perfect crazy ones, uh let me let me change the prices real quick. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't have too many good ones. That one you got, that first one was probably the best one in the box. Probably the best one in the box. This was pretty cool though. Oh, that doesn't have a price. Okay. Well, that one is $40. $40, oh my God, I don't even know. I'm dying over here. All right, all right, all right. I left the window open because there's frogs out there. Maybe you can hear them in the background. Hmm. All right, spiky. Look at that, spiky. Spikealicious. That one's 35. 35. It's pretty much frogs and, and might have been birds earlier and cricket type things. The frogs just shut up. There they are. Yes, the frogs. They are our friends. This one is forty-four dollars. Spikealicious. Six ten. Golden hour. Good one. There's a big fat one, seventy five. Here's a really nice one. It's all spiky. All spiky and stuff. Five ninety seven. Thirty dollars. What a deal. Oh, I keep picking that one up, it's not priced. Now we're gonna have to, have to do it anyways. All right, last one is all the good spiky ones. This one is going to be, uh, what is it? Like $40, 1378 
spiky one. All right, Nicole, take it away. What was fast? Going up that one. Oh, they're big. Okay, what do we got next? Let's see. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Let's do these little flats here. Let's try these. Okay. Some, here's some new, new stuff we put together. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna do. We're gonna start with these. All right, Uvarovites. We got Uvarovites from Russia, from the Uvarovitsky mine. No, it's not. It's Sark Sarkovsky mine. I think is what it's called. It's a very nice green garnet with uh, chrome or something and very sparkly and all of that shit. You know, the good stuff, Uvarovite, this one is $35. Alrighty, next one. It's sparkly, you know, it's got some crystals on it. Nice little specimen. A couple different colors there. Looks like a little mountain. Looks like a little mountain, 45 on that. Uvarovite green granite. It's got to have chrome in it from the looks at it. Little sparkly green on it. What are you gonna do here? Thirty-five dollars on that. Uvarovite. Uvarovite. They don't come in big crystals. They only come in little crystals. It's a rare garnet. These are out of Russia. Everybody's favorite place. <laughs> Forty-five. This one, very nice and sparkly. And the frogs are serenading you. And this is the last one. You varovite green garnet. Yes, second one, Mama Bear. Thank you. That is a very nice one for you, Mama Bear. Three, two, o, oh, one, six. Three, two, nine, one. Good. Thank you, dear. Right yes. All right. What do we got next? We got these hand-selected uh, Labradorite hearts. Uh, we had a huge lot come in, and these were the ones that I picked out that were my absolute favorite out of like 100 kilos. So we got nice and rainbowy thingy going on here. You can see all the pink and purple colors in the left hand side. Pink and purples on the left hand side. Yellows and green and blue on the right hand side. And this also is having very nice rainbow on the back side. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, this is very, very nice. I'll take it. Nicole wants this one, sorry guys. <laughs> That one, $45. Three, two, eight, five. Thank you, Mama Bear. Three, two, eight, five. Next. Red Labrador, I got pink. Look, there's red. I don't know if I've ever seen red. Is it Charm Stars? Charm Stars, no. All right, Charm Stars, 3285, good job. I didn't see your claim, but Nicole saw it from the other uh, account, so, oh, there it is. Now I see it, claim, 3285. Got it. Quit it, you Instagram. Anyways, this one is nice and purple and pink and yellow somewhere. There we go. 
Yes, very nice. This very nice and pretty hand selected sixty five dollar three two eight six. Mm -hmm. Nicole is jealous. <laughs> I'm taking all of her good ones and, and selling them. them. Oh no! Okay. Oh no! Yes, Labradorite. Labradorite. We got some Labradorite. It's all rainbows. Too many picks on. Too many colors on one piece. Mm -hmm. Rainbow Labradorite. Wow. Yes, this is crazy. Blue, pink, Blue, purple. pink purple, yellow. Green, We're yellow. gonna yellow it. We're gonna yellow at it. Right. Pink. That one there. Three, two, eight, seven. Fifty dollars. Right. Ye yeehaw these are hand selected out of big lot these are the ones i like the most and i'm selling to y'all individual you get the best ones the whole best ones right here probably the same price as all the rest of them it is best ones yeehaw it's pretty look at this in here look at this in here oh. Oh. yeehaw hours of entertainment <laughs> Three two eight eight. Forty dollars. Shoot darn. Kind of binoculars. What? How good it is? Yeah? Mm -hmm. How darn good it is? I like it. This one here is like the bottom of the sea. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? <laughs> I saw it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you ever seen them things and video oh, yeah. cameras underneath all the all underneath on the bottom of the there's, ocean? To the left, there's a little piece of um, fuzz. Coral. There's coral fuzz. Holy Christmas, man! This is some crazy. Three, two, eight, nine, forty dollars. Okay. Three, two, eight, eight. Alan Palermo, Golden Hour. Yeah, man, this is some good shit. All right, that's them's done. I got some of these here, some palm stones. This is the other type of Labrador, right? That one there's $20. 3280. This palm stone, you know, this is where, for, you know, if you ever come up on Goliath, you're going to take them out, man. You just take, put this in your pocket and throw it right between his eyes. Oh, and I didn't say that. This one's for, <laughs> this is for healing. You know, you put it right here. You say, ohm, you squeeze it, you rub it, and you think about somebody in a good way, and it makes them feel good. That's what it's for. But you can also throw it at Goliath if you found a man. I tell you what, we're selling you multi-purpose rocks here at Throwing Stones, man. We're going to throw some stones. You're going to, man, shoot. Yeehaw, look, here's Flash. She's got some Flash, man. It's, just, it's flashing so much, I'm going to have to, you know, we're going to have to sen flashing. we're going to have to censor it. It's flashing so much. She's going to be flashing on Instagram. Just like, you know, gonna, except that's what all them people do. That's all they do is flash anyway. So here, I'm going to flash you with more dang rocks. That's all, that's all I got was purdy, you know, for Instagram and shit. Here, $27. $27, 32 You! Blinded. Man's blind and eco. If you don't buy it, she's gonna be blind. I don't blame y'all. Just kidding here. Look at this. Woo! I'm a professional Labradorite shower. Just so you know, if you get it, you're gonna be like, man, I can't see the color, man. Where's the damn color? Oh, shit. Oh, oh there it is. You know, so Rusty, I'm a professional. I've been doing this for 14 million lifetimes. You know, mm -hmm. I, was, I was born in the ground with these rocks. Just kidding. I don't even know what I'm doing. What kind of rock is that? Isn't that and this a quartz? It's blue quartz, ain't it? Here. It's Malachi. It's Malachi. No shit, Malachi. You're crazy, Nicole. Three two eight three two thirty twenty three two hundred million thirty dollars. Come on, y'all, you can buy these. You're pretty. Look, I'm showing you how I'm showing you all my tricks. Here, look at this rock. I'm gonna show you. Look at how pretty that is. 
You know, don't get it and be like, man, I don't see no color, man. I can't give any money back. You, go, you know, you gotta take time, look at it. You know, that's what that's what Labradorite does. Teach Labradorite teach you patience, and it'll teach you teach you uh, hand eye coordination and fine motor skills, and you know, it'll teach you how to take out Goliath too if you want. Man, that's pretty. Yeah. That one there's thirty dollars. Three two eight four. Thirty dollars. Shoot. Shoot. All right, that's all the Labrador I got for you. Now I got some citrine. Let's see if you guys like any of them citrine. Citrine's good for you. It'll make you money. It'll make you rich. You get some citrine. It make you poor before it make you rich, but yeah, it's probably guaranteed to make you rich. Here, look. Look at how big this is. This is big darn citrine. Big old man, it's right here. This is like this ain't no fifty cent citrine, man. It's make you some money. I tell you what, let me citrine. Hey, let's start here. Three, two, six, six is a hundred bucks. A big old fat citrine for a hundred bucks. Charm Charm stars three, two, eight, three. I did see that. Three, two, eight, three. Thank you, Charm stars. Thank you, dear. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm not gonna have so much room on this. But let's do this here. Okay, three two six six is a hundred. This is a really weirdo shaped citrine. I don't even know what's going on with this crystal. It's like I how I, I didn't study it lot much, but I can't figure it out. It's like this looks like a terminal face. This looks like a C axis, but it doesn't come to a point. Is it double turning? And it it's 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 definitely self healed wow. thing going on here. Like I don't really understand even the which direction is up for this. It's weird. Oh, it's actually let's see. This is the C axis. It's like this, but it's weird. It took me a while to figure it out, and it's missing faces. Like what the hell? It's missing faces. What a weird crystal. Here's the bottom. Super weirdo. That one is a hundred bucks. Three, two, six, seven. Weirdo citrine. All right, what do we got? Here we got two more big ones, and then we got ten little ones. And then we're going to move on. Here's a big fat citrine, awesome little sidecar going on there. It's got some doubly terminated action going on in the bottom as well. That's a nice, beautiful, natural colored citrine. You could probably facet the center of it. That one's $110, 3268. We got one more in this size range, and then we're gonna move on. Yeah, we got this fatty here. Look at this, what's going on here. This is like super cool. It's got a little rainbow going on in here, right there. What a key. It's a double terminated. Yeah, it's a big fat a key. Giant. With a rainbow in the middle. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Yes, there's a rainbow in the middle of the key. It's a it's a it's a a full key, you know, a full crystal size key. Anyways, that one's about like that. And it is a hundred and eleven dollars. Big fat doubly terminated citrine. Hello, Svetlana. How are you? Nicole, I'm going to get your assistance. Yes, you Thank you. Oh, Mama Bear, 3269. Which one was that? Oh, right. Thank you, Mama Bear. That's a good one. I love that piece. Very cool. We have more little citrines coming up. Hey, wow. Lana, what are you doing? How's, how's the weather down there in Florida? Is it like 200 degrees yet? Oh, my God. Florida must be hell. It's like hell on earth. It's so hot. Okay, look at this. Beautiful, nice, unbelievable colored citrine. Fast, pretty much fast grade. It's got a little bit of a veil in the center there. This bottom part, you could totally cut it. Super nice, big, fat stone out of that. This is a little contact point here. Doesn't look like damage to me. Where there was something else there. Really nice colored crystal. Oh, that's right. You're in Florida too. Where you, Florida's like hell on earth. Ah, oh, 90 degrees. That's not too bad. 
Oh, but wait, you're not in Florida. <laughs> I don't remember where you are. Look, fifty dollars. Well, that was fifty dollars. That's a good price. Three two seven zero. Yes. Yes, it's very nice. Three two seven zero. Very good a citrine crystal. Mm, very, very good a citrine. Very nice. Little crystal here. Look, it sits all cute like that. It's like, hello, I'm a little cute squatty. A squatty crystal. Oh, yes, Tampa, that's right. I can't remember everything. Sorry for that, you know. Sorry for you that you have to live in Florida. No, I'm just kidding. Florida's awesome. Except it's too hot. It's not habitable. <laughs> no, I live, we lived in Florida for 10 years, but in the north part of Florida. There's $20 here. Look at that. $20 rocks. What have we got here? This is a killer. Killer. Nice, perfect shaped little crystal. That one there is really nice. 32, uh, 72, $30. Yes, very nice. Here is another elongated one. Very cool. This has got another key on the back here. That's where another crystal is clicked in there. It's pretty cool. It's like a little junction box. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Cute little crystal. $30. 3273 Cutie, double terminated, clean in the center. Really nice luster. Beautiful crystal. Good color. This is like the perfect citrine. Ooh, that's it's like the perfect citrine. And what did I price it at? Oh my god. $25. That should be $50. We're gonna change the price. It's $25. Don't sleep. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at this color. Wow. Amazing. Giving them away, Rusty. Simply Ali, simply me Ali. Thirty-two seventy-two is that one. Thirty-two seventy-three is that one, and thirty-two seventy-four. You got. Sorry, Emily. She got that one too. Ali got the, those three there in one swoop. Thank you, dear. Nice. Yes. The citrines, these are from Zambia, and they are natural. From Manza, Manza, Eastern Zambia. This has got a double terminated piece across the center here. Look at that, it's like a sidecar or whatever. It's double terminated on the bottom. It's terminated on the top. <laughs> nice color there. That one is twenty eight. Three, two, seven, six, twenty eight. Here's another nice little citrine. It's nice and clean inside. Look, you could cut the whole stone. You can make a big fat gemstone out of that and sell it for a billion dollars. No, not really, but that's really nice. This is facet rough. Facet rough, but not priced like facet rough. $30, 3277. That's a good one. What time for green crack? Haha! <laughs> I don't know. It's not it's not on the priority tonight. I've got a lot of other stuff to show. But depending on how it goes, we'll see how it goes. I don't have a lot of new things to show you. I had a flat I showed a couple of weeks ago and I ended up pushing it through my media department. So it's gonna end up on Etsy. Mm, maybe next week. Not ne not next week. The week the week after. Yeah, I'm all the way. 
I do have some new Moldavite on the way. It's for my friend. 44. What does your friend need? Amanders. Amanders joyful. And yeah, there's another nice hot colored citrine. Guaranteed natural color. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's citrine. That's the last one I got for tonight. 3279. Don't sleep on that double terminated one. Okay. What's next? I got these new flats. That was a new flat. They like the new flat. Hey, let's try these. New, new flats is good flats. Nice piece of mold of art. And a hook and a dime. And actually, I have there. I don't know if she wants a pendant, but I have mold of art with her from her pendants. Um, but I think those might have gone through the photography department too. Anyways, green barrel from Russia uh, with little lines in it. It's really awesome. It's got nice zoning in it, doubly terminated. Boom and boom. Green barrel from Russia. That one is $85. $85.1358. If you want. There's another nice green barrel, nicely terminated here. Yes, nice jammy crystals here for you, Miguel. For your mito, it's very nice. Look at this very cute green barrel, not an emerald, but a very nice, very nice color. This one, thirteen fifty nine seventy five dollar. One more of these. It's another nice one. For the large citron, do I have an elongated one? Uh, elongated. Did you see the large ones that I showed, Allie? I don't know if you like this one, but this is, this crystal is really unusual. I don't know if you'd call it elongated, but it's super weird. It's like miss it's like missing a face on top or something. This I believe is this is the C axis. And it's just this super crazy slice. It's like it did something weird. I like it. it it's kinda like it's, it's an oddball. That I don't know. I've, I love the oddballs for some reason. Just some weirdo. Like the one crystallography one. is just I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, and I've been looking at crystals for a long time. Anyways, that one's a hundred bucks. That's the Probably the nicest or elongatedest one that I have at the moment. I might be able to show you something after the show or tomorrow. I have some that just came in. Uh, um, so I do have more, but I don't have them available to show you right now. Um, but I don't really know if there's a lot of long... Maybe there's smaller elongated ones, but not larger ones. I didn't get a lot of larger pieces. So this is a, a tumbled piece of the green barrel from Russia. It's a really nice, cool... Greenish aquamarine type color. That one's 70. And you probably can't see it too well, but you can see there's a couple of lines right here that are, there's a green line. It's like a zoning line. It's pretty cool. It's kind of indicative of this material. And let's see. When I first showed these, they went crazy. This is three little tumbled stones, all from the same deposit, the Russian deposit. This is blue, yellow, and green. Nice little combo there. That is $45. And I'll show you those up close. Anyways, high quality tumbled barrel. Three different colors. It's pretty cool. All right, what else we got here? What else do we got here? Uh, some Japanese Law Twin Crystals. These are really weird. This is a new find from Zambia. Some super strange Japanese twins. Like, just weirdo shapes. This one, I... I know it's, I don't know if it's technical or not, but they have open and closed windows, which is when you have like a hard line, it's closed. And when it's like an open line, it's open. 
Yeah, that's not a very good explanation, but I kind of feel like this is it, the same thing can happen in Japan Law Twins, where like you have a line on one side that's flat, it's kind of closed, and this goes off to this side. This is not that common for Japan Law Twins to do something like this. This this particular location has the weirdest Japan Law Twins I've ever seen, other than the Madagascar location has some really weird ones, but this location might be the most prolific Japan Law Twin location in the world, and I've seen so many different types and varieties from this deposit, and it blows my mind. It's like, check this out, here's another one. So, this has got a clay phantom in the center, which is unusual, you can see it there. Uh, I have one phenakite that's 200 bucks from the Ukraine. That's the only phenakite I have that I know of. And Japan Law Twin, 1260, 60 bucks on that. Uh, so, another type of Japan Law, this is like the Nike swoosh or the check mark. This is really neat. So, like, this deposit, you could probably collect, like, 50 different varieties of types of Japan Law Twins from this location. It's like an exacerbation of that closed line, and then it's, like, open, but it's, like, wee, way open. And it's got a little clay phantom here in the top. And zoom back out. There's the, technically, I guess that would probably be the front. It doesn't really matter, but yeah, this is like the back of the crystal, but I don't really know if that matters or not. Swoosh. So that one is 90, 1258. Very unusual crystals. Very nice habit from a Japan law. <clears throat> Next. Here's another one. It's got some weird phantoms. What I really love about this is that the phantoms are circular and then there's like a break and there's another circular and it's like, what the hell is going on here? Like, what? There's a little damage to this one side, unfortunately, that there, but this is super odd. Like, what the heck? It's like Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. Something weird like that. 12, 56, 70 bucks. And here's another one that's open on one side and closed on the other. Closed, open. And again, I don't know how technical that is, but I'm going to I'm going to make it technical because it's really just like, hey, this is cool and this is odd and this is like there's something unique and different about this particular crystallography. So I'm going with it. We'll see what the let's see what the other experts say. They may be like, "No, man, you crazy. You can't call it like that. You're gonna fuck it all up. You know, you're gonna like create create some new thing, and then people are gonna, you know, it's like a quartz cult or something." All right, this is the last one of these. Look at this. this is the craziest one. This is the weirdest, the weirdest shape of Japan law you're ever gonna see. It's got phantom in there. It's got going on this one side like it's normal. And then it's like, what the fuck is it doing here? It's like, hey, I'm going to stop and start. I'm going to go over here. We're going to sidestep you. You know, we're going to do something like that. It's got clay phantoms in the back. In the back, and you know, it's like, what a weirdo. Look at this face in here. This is the weirdest face. This is the weirdest face I've ever seen on a Japan launch. It's like, hey, I'm going to do this. You've never seen this before. That's what it is. Super odd. Japan law, 75 bucks on that, 1252. Weirdo. What a weirdo. I think that was it. That's all we got for the Japan laws on this type and this box and whatever's. Uh, what else do we want to show you is here? Let's do, we got a couple of emerald cabochons. I don't even know if you like that kind of stuff. This is a crystal inside of a cab. Look, it's pretty cool. It's in quartz. There you go. Simply me, Ali. Simply me, 2569. That's a 2569? 2569. Gotcha. Barrel. And 1258. The swoosh. Nice. Thank you, Ali. Miss Alice. Appreciate it. All right, we got this. Move some, move some stuff around there. So this is a hexagonal emerald crystal inside of quartz, cut into a cabochon, which is pretty cool to have the existing structure, half a hexagon, 
inside of quartz. Yep, pretty cool. Not just a blob, but it's an emerald crystal inside. 150 on that. We're going to do 100 bucks. 100 bucks on that. Was there any discount on this? No. 100 bucks. All right, what is this? We got one more. This is a Here's another one. Emerald from Brazil. Little little cabochon we got going on. 80 bucks. We're going to take $50 on that. $50. It's nice and clean and green. It's a clean green machine. All right. What is it? What is it? So we got this tug to pipe. This stuff is the weirdest named thing of all time. This is a UV reactive mineral from Greenland. It does this. And it does this. Look at that. Holy shit. This light is so good. All right, look. It does that. Where it's pink and it's like white. And it's like, what is this? Yes, Emily here. We'll just do it in a second right after this. And then it's like, all right, move that. That's UV1. That's UV2. Holy shit, man. It's pink and orange and whitish pink, different pink. Amazing. Tug to pipe. Tug to pipe. Good. Chimey, I got you on that. 1252. That is a great claim. Tug to pipe is this one. 50 bucks. And I have others. Most of them are 100 to 150, um, depending on what they look like. And that's super cool. So. Emily, scroll over really quickly. Japan Law Twin, and that one is 60. Uh, this one is open on one side, closed on the other. That one's 60, 12.55. This one is 25. It's more of a classic shape. And that one, 70. That's it. All right. And laws. And now we've got strawberry quartz. We've got three of these. Strawberry quartz is from Kazakhstan. Don't make me go into my Borat voice. That was not it. I got you, Emily, on 1260. Thank you. So we're going to discount the strawberry quartz. It's a nice little Polish jobber. Good for some kind of jewelry project or you could drill a hole and turn it into a pendulum. Has a little couple of little phantoms in here you can see. And sparkliness of strawberry quartz which is undeniable. And I've got three of these. This one is 85. Tonight we're going to take 60 bucks uh it's hematite it's just a weird color i wish it was copper but i mean it's still cool as it is hematite does so many weird cool things they go whatever they call it lipidocrosite whatever it's all hematite um but the strawberry is a different sh a different color than any other hematite this is a weird deposit only from kazakhstan like this and then the mexican stuff which is all really old is is different Sid Stash, Rusty, what's up? Yo! And that one there would make a really nice pendulum. And that one is 100. We're going to take 80 bucks on that one. And last but not least. What's up? We got some rocks, homie. We're going to throw throw some stones as far as you can throw them. Look at this. Three little phantom lines that go all the way around. They, they got like a Charlie Brown on there. You know, they're like squiggling up and down and stuff. Look at all this hematite. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to dance in front of you. Like, you know, because I'm good at it. Dance, dance, dance the night away. That one we're going to do for $60 tonight. 1552 $60. What's it, Mark? Uh, 85. The first one was marked 85 too. The second one was 100 and we'll do it for 80. Okay, that paper's gone. Nicole, you want to move it? Pretty please. No way, man. You sell rocks. What are you talking about? No, man. We don't sell rocks. We throw stones, bro.
All righty, what's next? We've got, um, we can blow through these. These are hematites from Kalahari, manganese field in South Africa. Amazing luster, good shape. If you love hematite, you can't avoid this location. This might be the best location for hematite on the planet. There's a lot of good locations, but this one is definitely up there. 25 bucks. 22.46. Nice flat top termination going on there. Look at all that luster. 30 bucks. Nice little thumbnail size crystal. All right, all right. What do we got? Look at this little matrix piece. This is like a beautiful thumbnail. You're slacking on the accent. Oh, my God. I know. I'm a little bit tired tonight. Any large strawberry quartz in the back room? Uh, no. I sold them all. Well, you know, the ones that I might have in the photography stash are not big, but I might have a few somewhere that I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any. You're slacking on the voice tonight. What do you mean, man? I'm tired. I need to drink some water. The dogs wore me out today. They're going crazy. What am I going to do? 33. You're slacking on your accent too, huh? What are you talking about? I don't see nothing. Here you go. This one's on calcite. Look at all that calcite. It's pretty. It's got calcite things on it. It's a very technical term, yeah? Calcite. All right, look, it's dancing. It's dancing on there, on top of the calcite for you. All right, 35. 35. All right, we're done with those. What's next? This is another... I think this has... Oh, all right, this one is from Messina also. Art and Villa. It's got a little bit of ahoite in it. It's a nice crystal that stands up on its own. It's nice and big. And it's got hematite. It's got some other stuff in there. And if you look, let's see. There's a little bit of ahoite right there. There's a little bit. So I'm not trying to even sell it as ahoite, but I'm showing you that it's there. You know, if it had, oh, there it is. Look, you can actually see it. Look, ahoite. Yay! A little bit of ahoite. This one is 200. And we will take 160 on the piece tonight for the nice palm size with ahoite 160. A little bit of ahoite. It is a hematite included crystal with ahoite sidecar. For 160, oh my god. What is happening? Here's a little Super 7 Amethyst with stuff going on it. You know, this is from India. It's in sterling silver. We're going to discount it tonight. Look, half price. Ready, go. $20. Ready, set, go. Yes, oh, it's good, man. It's a pretty. You're never going to find a big fatty like that for $170, $60 with a little bit of white in it. No, you might. I will one day. But that's there. That's where it is. Perfect. So, look, $20 on that. I want it gone. It's, you love it. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's an amethyst with little uh, red thingies in it. Yes, it's very technical. Super mm -hmm. 7, $20. That one was the cabochon one. This one is the, what you call it, one. Faceted one. This one's not half price. Don't get your hopes up on that one. But we will take a little bit of discount off of it. We might get $60 on that. That one is $5.65. Karen Doyle, $5.69. She comes in through the side for the win. Yeah! Mm -hmm. You at work, I know, you're like, boss, nothing going on over here. I'm just buying rocks on your time. It's great. Now you're probably on your lunch break. Thank you, Karen Doyle. I appreciate you. I haven't seen you. It's so funny. Literally, I was like, where's Karen Doyle? I haven't seen her forever. And then there you are, showing up. It's like destiny. $60 on that. Six, five, six, five on that. It's good. Hope everything's going on perfectly well down there in your part of the neck of the woods. Hey, look, little needles in the amethyst with the clear quartz and stuff like that. Red hematite, Super 7. Oh, way to go, Rusty. You hit the camera. Damn it, it's gone. Oh, public holiday today. Yes, amazing. Congratulations on being public and having a holiday about it. Look at all those needles. 
amazing look that's a really good this one is marked 85 we are all taking 70 dollars seven zero very good special price for you my friend this box is finished this mm -hmm. box needs to go over here okay duck before we go into this we will take oh this is a that is why look okay duck, duck. five six seven oh what are you doing you're buying jewelry oh alan you're stepping up for the win seventy dollars good i appreciate it 70 on that and let's see here this might be i've done this before we're gonna do we're gonna zoom out here we got the whole thing a whole tray of amazing ethiopian opals all hand selected it's amazing it's incredible the sizes are from five to ten and they go in between and whatnot we can check them and if you want to see anything like this they run 75 to 100 dollars and if you want to see some up close we've got two styles there's this one here what do we call it fancy and you know it's not really fancy but it's got some little squigglies on it and then we got this was plain so if you would like to see one up close you can see the quality is like really really good yeah, let me see let me show you really really good really really good yes oh yes put it on yes hello look i can't fit on my finger but it's beautiful amazing a kitty 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 kit. it's all right it's all right that one is 90 dollars and it's it's a size five anyways so if you if you love them and you want to see them they're like i said 75 to 100 bucks something like that tell me a size and i will pull one out and they will be over here we can revisit them again okay okay what's next minerals let's do minerals all right, so let's finish this box. This won't take very long. So, chocolate window quartz. This was from 2006. It was came for a few years. I believe it was Hunan province. It's got this natural irradiation that zapped it on the outside, and we called it chocolate window. I bought an entire room of it in Tucson, all the way out at the Smugglers Inn, I think it was. No, an executive inn. I don't know. With these Chinese people, they had a room. They had the whole room full of it, and I closed the door behind me, and I said, how much for all of it? And then we did the deal and they sold like crazy i think this is the last one that i have i think i got one big cluster and then this one and that's it and that's they're gone forever it's like holy shit, man chocolate window quartz what's well, like an ancient timepiece 280 dollars on that one it's a nice single crystal heel it's actually probably a left hand ew look at that glued rock yes it's because you put your eyes on it and now it's gluey Amber, what do you think you're doing talking shit to me the f without even saying hello? Just kidding, I would expect of it. I would expect that of you. Okay, here we go. Look, this is a Brandenburg or what you call it, Gaboba Seb. It's got hematite phantoms in it. Look, look, it's a little cluster of hematite phantoms. And it's, you know, got this calcite thing on the side. Big fat thingy on the side. I think it's a calcite. Yeah, it looks like a calcite. So there's a calcite on the side. It's got a little hematite cluster going on in there. We're going to sell this one. It's marked 125. We're going to do this one for $90. Nine zero. Pretty good price here. Look, you can take nice photographs and be like, dude, look at all this amazing shit going on in there. $90. 3005. Table scan of glue. All right there. It's all the glue right in there. Facial scan of glue. Oh, I thought I was trying to give you some access to the glue vault, but no, we can't do that. They just scanned my eyeball and stole all my information. Okay, look, here we go. 3005, you did it. Look at that. Thank you. Amber, $90, 9-0. Okay, this is from Greece, Seraphos Island. Him, what is it called? It is actinolite or Hedenbergite, one of those two probably. They are very close and similar. Hedenbergite is a fancier name, so we will say it is Hedenbergite. Inside of nice little fancy quartz is from Saraphos Island of Greece, a very, very famous material. This one came out in 2000, summer of 2006. 
I bought it at the Munich show all the way back then. That was when actually the same trip that I got my first hand pan. We got a few of them and we traveled around with them and Nicole was with me and it was more awesome. Anyways, there's little hematite buggers in there somewhere. No, that one doesn't have it. Yeah, there's a little hematite bugger right in there. And yes, nice, pretty little aesthetic piece. And tonight, it can be yours. The price is a 420, but uh, tonight uh, we make it uh, 350. 350 dollar is uh, very nice. This is not so easy to get anymore, I don't think. No. Okay, Doc. What is next? Big fat Japan law twin. This is from that Zambian deposit. This was the nice big one that I got. This is pretty amazing. It's got the big clay phantom in it. It's got a little bit of a problem there on the outside here. Little on the back, a little bit of damage there, but it's a beautiful crystal. And it's got a sidecar. What the, what the hell is that, man? Who's got a sidecar? Japan Lord Twin. That's what's going on here that makes it really weird. Hey, what the fuck happened? I didn't touch the screen. Well, that was really weird. That was so weird. My hand wasn't even on the phone. Weird, how did that happen? Quit it, Instagram. Look, it's got, <laughs> it's got a little sidecar, which is very unusual. A fox head, what do you mean a fox head? I don't see a fox head. Maybe this way, is it a fox head? Well, for fox sake, man. Anyways. It's got some growth there in the contact. You could call that a key. Big fat. Amazing with the sidecar, huge Japan law twin. And it can be yours. The price is marked 1200 but tonight we will make it for $900. Big discount of 300 Very special price for you. Okay, what's next? Let's, let's breeze through them. Let's see if we can do it. This one, this is a crystal that came out of the ground in like 2004, 2005. This is one of the very first parcel purchases that I ever made. The camera's not picking it up, but this is the pink. This is pink color. It's showing it more as white. Um, with my eyes, I see a lot more pink. Let me see. Oh, I love that. Let's, let's see if I can. It shows the color a little bit better without. Let's see, like this. Uh, that's a little better. Anyways. It's pink. Pink quartz from the... Uh, I think it was a one-time find in Brazil. It's just super weird. Uh, rutilated. It's got this... This is the most indicative part. This is kind of like... It's got to be from the same deposit as the amphibole quartz. Because it looks like the same stuff on the outside. It's got this craggly looking weird shit on the back that's just all growth it's cool i really like it pinky in color anyways nice big crystal from the first find the only find of this material about 1500 on that and tonight we will take less so make me an offer if you're interested in that it's a beautiful piece all right what is next this is octahedral pink fluorite octahedral pink fluorite from new mexico you can see that going on there it's nice little thingies with the little thingies on it with the good shape like thingies and stuff look at this pink octahedral fluorite from new mexico wow holy shit that is beautiful The accents are very minimal tonight because I am a little bit tired, but usually we are much more amped and being like, crazy man, what are you doing? You're doing all the accents, man, oh my God. Man, this rock is like the best rock I ever saw, man. It's like, oh my, what are we going to do? It's got this, uh, you know, fluoride -y thing going on. Really technical terms here. Octahedron, you know, it's like sacred geometry and stuff. 225 that's a great price for a nice pink octahedral thingy from, uh, what you call it, New Mexico. 3004 225 It can be yours tonight for 225 What there's no more room here. We will go back in this here. What 
what is happening is Jackson's Crossroads, Georgia, Amethyst. <laughs> yes, the walrus, thank you. Yes, we we started a comedy routine here. We're trying to make it as enjoyable as possible. And sometimes we're funny and sometimes we're not. But you know what? It doesn't matter because it's all about the rocks anyways. So we're going to have a good time. Look, look at this. It's got all of the thingies that you want. It's got the little key thingy growth there. It's a beautiful crystal from what you call it, Jackson's Crossroads in Georgia. This one was found, I don't know, God, 2012 or something. I bought this from Terry Ledford at the McDonald's in Burnsville. It was really nice. He was an awesome dude. And uh, we got a little double terminated thingy going on. Just no, a little bit right there. Anyways, beautiful amethyst from Georgia. Really nice quality and price, really fair, I believe. 250 seems like they're more expensive than that now. Whenever I see them at the show, somebody would put 450, 500 on that, something like that. Anyways, there's that. What else have we got here? We don't have much. Let's try this one here. We got this. This is limonite and quartz with some drowsy shit going on on it. This is a new find from Zambia. It's pretty cool. Look at all this drowsy little thingies here. Little bobbies. I don't know what's inside of those. Maybe it's also limonite or some other mineral, but it's drowsy quartz and it's got this little balls. Oh, these are marcasites. That's it. That's what they thought. All these little black bowl thingies are probably, I believe they're marcasite. It's actually pretty neat. And you know, here's a nice little cluster. So we got the cluster with the luster, and it has got the limonite inside with the marcasite and some little drowsy thingies like this. There you have it. And we have the price here. This is uh, 3001140. Tonight we make $100. Very nice and easy for you. 100 flat. Like this. It's this flat crystal. You can see there are all kinds of things going inside. 100 even. 3001. Okay, doc. Okay. This box is very finished. Yeah, so yeah, I think I'm going to put back this one oh, here. Yes. Very good. That's Yes, like this. But maybe they will want, so we will go back in the box. There is this, and there is this. We can always go back to that box. Okay, Doc. We're moving right along. Do we have Moldavite? Yes, we do. Everybody loves Moldavite. We have a little bit that we could show you. Let me see what else I got to go through first. Let me see what I can go through first. Oh, this is a new flat here. Let's do that one now. All right. This one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one. Okay, we got these. These did really well last time I showed them. Everybody loved them. These are uh, amethyst slices from Gabobaseb material from the Brandberg. Brandberg and Gabobaseb sliced polished crystals like this you can see some patterns inside like it is going on with some amethyst thingy majiggy my bubble there so this one we've got 10 of these to show you and then we will move on this one is 50 50 dollar this one has little bit man standing inside he's like cut off in the head i don't know there is like a little pattern in here you can see it is like there is like a man standing in there. We need to move this here. Like this here. Anyways, that one is 65. 3330. And this. This has got like a spider in it or something. It's got a spider in there, man. Hope you like spiders. It's like a, it's like a creature from the from the inside of the quartz. What are you gonna do about that? That one's sixty. Yeah, it's like a portal into the creature of the brambar. It's beautiful. These the brambars are just like such crazy things, man. Everything about them is just like, dude, why are you such good, amazing amethyst? How can one place like in the middle of nowhere have the most amazing amethyst? Like, what? It's so cool. This is how it goes. Can't wait to go back. I'm gonna go back there again someday. That one's 40 bucks, 3332. 
Here's another cool one. Look at this. Anyways, that one there. Three, 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 three. Oh my goodness. What a great number. Three, 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 three with the portal for 45. Make it $44 for three, 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 44. Whoa, whoa. Every time I see a name, it's like, whoa. I'm already whoaing before I say anything because I got whoa the walrus. It's great. Love it. Love your name. All right, look. It's like a crystal inside a crystal. It's like amazing and beautiful. And what you gonna do? You can wire wrap it and wear it around your neck. That one there is forty-two dollars. Beautiful, beautiful zoning in the middle. This one's like you got a crystal in the center. You got the six sides and all that stuff. That one there is $40, three, three, two, five. Let's see if I can show this. Come on, why is it not showing? got this weird pattern in there it's hard to show for some reason yeah it's kind of right, right in there it's pretty cool that one 39 39 two more for you Auto bis trick it. Auto be trick it. Trisket. Trisket. Auto be a trisket. Auto be a trisket. Got you. 39. I got it. Took me a minute. They ought to be a trisket. Oh, yes. You ought to be a trisket. This one's 38. It's beautiful. It's got some patterns going on in the center there, too. And last but not least. Thirty-five. There's all finished. There's all finished. Okay. Let's hear. We got this one off. Thirty-three twenty-seven. Ali. Thirty-three twenty-seven. I got you. Thank you, dear. <clears throat> So I got one of these. This is the Navigador etched garnets that are super famous from Brazil. They've got uh, complete craziness going on on all sides. It's all crystalline growth. Acid gets into the solution and it alters the way that the crystals grow. And this particular deposit is probably the most well-known etched deposit. Maybe of any mineral. I guess the Ukrainian Heliodors are probably number one in terms of notoriety for etchings, but this is like probably number two in for etched minerals out of what's out there. This is amazing. It's a nice big, big nice chunk here. And then you can see the quality of the color. No damage, complete all around. And this one is $650. Beautiful Navigador. All right, what's next? We got one more on there. Oh, let's do these. Okay, here. Where was it from? Uh, Navigador, which is Brazil. The name of the mine is Navigador. It's in Minas Gerais. Here's a tanzanite. This might be up your alley. Philosopher Stone. Nice blue one. This came out of a collection of random stuff that I bought from South Africa. 
not too long ago. No, sorry, not claim 34. Okay. <laughs> okay, Ali, don't worry. Think about it if you want it. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, yes, wait, let me see. Untreated. Yeah, I can see the, the purple on the other axis. Not treated. That one is 120. Tanzanite. 3302 untreated Tanzanite. I can get the box back on. Okay, what do we have next? These are super special. These are one of the more highly sought after quartz inclusions, but difficult to get because it was mined out in 2004. This is uh, Gila Light, G-I-L-A. These are really good ones. Uh, Gila, like Gila Monster. Uh, Gila Light is what you would say if the G wasn't silent. This is from Pariba State in Brazil. Haven't come out since 2005. And GIA made a post about them a couple, well, maybe a month or so, or six weeks ago or something and got another resurgence of excitement sold a few of them online these are some i had in the safe i got four really nice ones here they're not inexpensive but they are really rare and unique and high quality and i can't zoom in enough to show you all of the detail that you would love to see when you can see it in your hand let's see how close i can get without i guess that's not bad actually it's Green balls and blue balls. Gila light or Gila light is a rare copper silicate. It's very similar in chemistry to some of the other copper silicates, but it's much more rare. Only oh, that I know of, it only comes from Pariba State in Brazil. Obviously, the type locality is Gila, Arizona, so it has to come from there too, but it's not prolific at all. Yay, you have one of these. Awesome. Yeah, so these four I took out of the safe. These are a much higher quality offering than anything that I had shown before. This one is 400. I have four of them to show you. 3305. It's a nice, super yeah. nice piece. Yeah. Next. Super good one. Really, really nice. Special quality. People, the photographers love these. They get uh, microscopic photos. And they go all the way in like, you know, whoa, like this. But they get in like 50 times and they like, or 100 times. And they get all the way down and they get pictures of these balls. And they're acicular radiating sprays of copper and I don't know what the other minerals are. I'm sure there's all kinds of other minerals too. Not evil eyes. They are like beauty eyes. Beautiful eyes. Crazy. Gila light and quartz. Super nice quality. Coming out of the safe. 3306. 370. And two more. Oh, this one is so cute. The doggies are also yeah. calling me. You should probably take let them out, and you can let them up when um, they're done. Look at all the little balls in there. Acicular Gila light balls from Pariba State. They it's they also call it Medusa quartz or Pariba quartz. Any moldavite left? We haven't shown any moldavite tonight. I got some moldavite. A lot of the moldavite I have, I put on my Etsy shop, though. That's usually where you're going to find the most of my selection. But I do show some moldavite here on the, show, uh, the live shows every once in a while. Maybe we'll do that in a little bit. See how long it goes. See, see what we got going on here. So this is Gila Light. Really nice, crazy inclusion. Full of, full of stuff. Beautiful. If you don't have one of these and you're a quartz person, you got to have one because these are just super special. 300 bucks on that one there. Pulling them out of the safe. Had some 
pretty nice interest in them because of that GIA article, or it wasn't an article, it was a post. Look at this one. This is the, probably the best one. It's also the largest one, and it's the most expensive one. Just beautiful. It speaks for itself. And if I could get it any closer, I would, but not going to happen with the Instagram app. Just amazing. Two different or three different colored Gila light balls. And I don't know if it's all Gila light. There might be different minerals, but I, you know, everybody just calls it that. So I don't know. Maybe somebody can grind it up and separate it out. That's the hard part. You have to figure out how to isolate them and so you could crush them up and see what's different about them. But I'm sure it could be done. But wow, that's some difficult work to do that. Anyways, it's a beautiful piece. It's a little bit bigger. And the details, this one is 550. 3308. My gorgeous Gila lights. I'm gonna miss them. Okie dokie. So, opal rings, if you want to see opal rings, we got opal rings. I'm gonna leave it over here up on the side, opal rings gonna make some room running out of space already what's happening here we're not even halfway through oh my goodness you guys gotta help me clear some space here you gotta hit click those buttons and be like claim 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 I got sujolite beads these are not made into necklaces. These are just loose. I got five of them to show you. I'm gonna get up really nice and close. Yeah, you gotta open your wallet chakra. Listen to the Hain Moss over there. KJ, tell him what's up. Be like, hey, come on. You, know, you don't open up your wallet chakra. You're not gonna you're not gonna get any crystals. Sujolite beads cut in the 1980s in Hong Kong before China was even open when all of the all of the cutting was done in Hong Kong. They had all this manufacturing going on and then China opened up and everything moved to China and Hong Kong changed and became the middleman for everything. And now it's much more difficult there to run a rock shop and business in Hong Kong because of all the shit going on in there. Anyways, we got Sujolite beads. Then look, so they're not made into necklace. They're not strong. You've got to do something with them. Old stock cut early, long time ago. If I can see it, this is $75, 3319. Sujolite beads. Yippee skippy. Next, we got this. Little banded sujolite beads, barrel shaped beads. I guess that's what you call that. They're probably 16. I do have opals. I've got the opal flat. I'll do that next. After this flat's done, we'll do opals. How about that? I've got a whole flat of it that's ready, but I was waiting for the perfect moment. And you were like, do you have opals? And I was like, yes, let's do opal. Okay, let's focus on sujolite, Rusty. Focus, focus. Okay, look, sujolite beads here. You can make something, lots of jewelry. You can make bunches of earrings and necklaces and all that stuff. $75, $33.20. Oh, these don't roll up very good. They make mess. They're making big mess all over my table. Okay, doc. This we are showing you. This is different. Like this. It's hard to see the color. Look, you can see it like this. Very nice colored beads. This 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 necklace is underpriced. I guarantee it. There's a little bit better quality than the other one. And ninety dollars on that. Thirty three twenty one. It's not super purple, but it's pretty nice. Thirty three twenty one ninety dollars. Got this. A 
and the frogs are talking to you in the background saying Sue July Bates 75 33 22 I'm making a mess on my table here Ultraviolet purple. Oh, you mean the 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 uh, the the tug to pipe? This one? That one was UV, but I don't know if it was purple. Was it purple? It was like pinkish. These are rondell type beads, and these are a lot heavier than the other ones. Little bits of color in there. That one's seventy dollars, and these are these are making a mess. So we're gonna put them back in the box. Oh oh oh! Look, what's happening? Come here, oh boy! Come here, boys! Hey, Simba, what's going on? The doggies are having so much fun. Simba, come on! <laughs> Hello. Hello, doggies. My doggies love you. They're here to say hello. You're Chris. It's good boys. That's right. That's good boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's huge, man. He's almost as big as Yogi. He, I weighed him today. He just broke 50 pounds. <laughs> oh. My dogs are awesome. We have so much fun with these dogs. They are super, super, super healthy and amazing. <laughs> okay, we're going back. Get rid of my face. Now we've got rhodochrosite slices coming up. And there's some really weird Japanese law twin crystals from Japan with their little double terminated X's. But they're tiny, but they're so cute. I had I, The first time I showed those, everybody was like, holy shit, I want those. They were gone. Let's get rid of the sigillite here, because it's all in the way. Come on, sigillite, we love you, but you're taking up too much space because you're not wrapping up very good. Okay, here we go. First up, we've got little rhodochrosite slices. Rhodochrosite is so beautiful. It's a calcium carbonate with manganese. This is pieces of stalactite, I believe this one is. Maybe not, it's beautiful. So that one there is $33. It's like a sunrise or something there. 33, 33. Here's a nice one. This has all been polished. Pretty cool. Look at that. Got some translucency to it. That one there is $80. It's about yay big. Yay, big. $80, $33.15. This one more banded, 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 rhodochrosite bandits. Mm -hmm. Like a rhodochrosite bandit. Happen to have any petroleum quartz available? Oh my God, I've got a whole flat of them that I was going to show you those tonight. But let me, uh, one, let's see what we're going to do. I got a whole flat of those. They're not the Pakistani ones. I've got a new find from Madagascar and they're scepters and celestials and like really cool. Anyways, but I'm moving really slowly with the Rodo. So let's do this Rodo. You guys should buy a couple of pieces and we can move on to some other stuff too. Some old banded Rodo. It's nice and clean, nice and jemmy in there. $55. 3317. I love the UV quartz petroleum stuff because it's so fun to show because it goes, hello, it's bling bling. Here's a nice little banded piece. Really nice banded piece. It's a bandit, bandit piece. You can put it in your bandana. Yeah. That one there, 25. 25. This one is banded with some white. That one there is 25. Keeping Record Keepers. That's a cool name. And 
we've got to move quickly 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 three three one zero four to five where'd they go <laughs> chilling okay dokie ah i lost it 30 bucks on that one 33.11 two more and then i've got a little set of brodo beads that are loose for somebody to make a project somebody to make a project 45 dollars on that one 3312 33.11 philosopher stone there you go thank you sir very nice 33 12s 45 And one more. Last one. It's like a pizza slice. Road across site pizza. It's got it's even got a P for pizza. Look, I'm a pizza slice. I'm telling you right there, it's got a P. What are you gonna do about it? You're like I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a P for pizza or pie. That one is twenty dollars for pizza pie. Thirty three thirteen. Get your pizza here. Yeah? All right, want to look at this? We got got this little bag. Thirty three thirteen. Karen Doyle. Thank you. And I got this whole bag of really nice Jemmy Rotocrosite beads. This will make one really nice necklace. I mean. Uh, bracelet not necklace or you can do whatever you want with it look at this nice jammy rotocrosite they're probably seven millimeters a whole bag of them there for a hundred bucks nice little jammy rotocrosite beads 3303 okay we got three little uh, offerings from Japan These are little, I forgot the name of this mineral. I really, I, that's bad of me. These are little trapeche flowers. Uh, I can't remember the mineral. I have to look it up. It starts with an S. It's like, nah, I can't remember, but they're cool. They got five of these. The Reverend 3303. Gotcha. For the beads. Thank you, my friend. Uh, yep, I have to look this up. I can't remember everything. What do we got here? This is Japanese. Definitely trapiche. Little flowers. They call them something. They got a, like, super crazy fancy name for them. They love these little things over there. It's like everything flowery in Japan is just off the hook. So $50 for that little group. And here's another one. And by the way, these are just not set in there very good, but those two have good uh, trapeches too. I had a hard time getting them to stay forward, little buggers. See how these are all kind of facing up? Kind of. That one's kind of leaning a little bit. But we got nice, five nice trapeches in there. And I'll look up the name if you need me to. You can look it up too and be like, hey, Rusty, it's this thing that starts with an S and probably ends with an ITE. 60 bucks on that. 3300 all right last but not least i got five of these these are little japanese law twin oh man i gotta take these out they're, these things are tiny but they're so cool they're double terminated japan law twins which some of them are x's this one's a y these are from japan and they are really small but it's one of the only places that i've ever seen where they double up and make X's. Like there's a couple in the, the that I'll show you in a minute that are X's. So the Japan Law Twin growing in those two directions and then it does in the opposite directions too. Uh, the first time I showed some of these, I sold them all. And they are little, but they're just unusual. And they're from Japan, that one's 25 bucks, 32.96. And there's a couple of them at the end that are X's. I think the last three. So there we go. Three, two, nine, six. This one's three, two, nine, five. 
It's kind of like that one. It's like a Y. Oh, that one's got three dimensions. I'm going to take this one out. This one actually might be what's called a bird twin, where it does Japan law in two different directions. Oh, I can't even see it. This little guy. This is definitely like, you got to really love Japanese minerals. But as a quartz junkie, this is really cool to have this X, you know. So that one is 25. 3295. Thank you, my dear. This hay moss. Okay, three more. This is 3297. Where's the item? Hmm? It's in it. It's in the bag. <laughs> I told you they were small. So there is another one that's the X. And come on, camera. What are you doing? Get out of here. There we go. Look, little X. That one is three two nine seven forty dollars. Now I'm throwing stones. All right, last two. This one also double terminated. Got the little X going on in there from Japan. Type locality from what Japan law twin crystals come from. That one there. Uh, this is Japan Law Twin, double terminated Japan Law Twin crystals from Japan. They actually form in like a little X and go the opposite direction at the bottom. That one is 40 bucks, 3299. Just a quartz oddity. Really neat for, you know, locality stuff and just history of Japan law courts and I've only seen these in one other location and that's Colombia and I know that it's possible in any of the locations that do Japan laws here's the here's the biggest one that's an X throwing stones and that one is Three two nine eight sixty dollars on that one. And that is it. Okay, doc. Those are finished. Next, let's do let's do opals or let's do this petroleum quartz first, because I think we can do that as a whole flat potentially. All right, let's see here. So let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna discount these tonight. Um, let's see, we're gonna start by, this is difficult because you can't see the, actually no, this light that I have that's new is really cool. Karen Doyle, hope you're paying attention because you were the one that asked about these. But these are super awesome. So it's got a skeletal thing going on right there and like elestiated all up on the sides really interesting on its own it has petroleum inside that reacts to the uv light and because my light is so strong thankfully i can show you without turning the light off they've all got lots of uv reaction going on look at that so that one's marked 160. We're gonna take 100 bucks for that tonight. We're gonna discount them like that. 160. This is about as big as they get. They don't really get much bigger than that. Here's a nice scepter. Yeah, they're super neat, Allie. They're weird. 
they're they're totally different from the Pakistani ones. Like they're sceptering and elastiating, and I hope you can I hope I'm displaying them well so you can see that part. Just the way that they're the actual growth is cool on its own, and then of course the UV is like what makes it special, more special. That one is loaded. So that's all petroleum that's caught in there. That one's marked 99. We're going to take 70 on that one tonight. It's 22772. <clears throat> Here's a little one. This might be the one of the, there's only a few little ones that I have in the box in the different price point. We're going to do this one. It's a nice little scepter. Pretty cool stuff. That one's marked 60. We're going to take 40 bucks on that one. Scepter, Elestial Growth, and Petroleum. These are from Madagascar. These are a new find. Super, super cool. That one is marked 111, and we're going to take 80 for that one. 2776. Another scepter. It's going to go down to 70. Closet crystals. I don't get it. Because <laughs> you can't see. And then they come out of the closet with their skeletons. They're like, ah, ha, ha, look, I have, I have a dark side, but it is pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rusty, show it right side up. <laughs> I was trying to show you the bottom. Is it doubly terminated? Yeah, there's crystal down there too, a little bit. Pretty badass little thing. It's like a reverse sept on that. That one's marked 80, we'll take 60. 2680, uh, 278, oh, I don't know, you saw the number. <laughs> I can't speak anymore. Oh, it's that the, number. Price 80. 60, down to 60. Here's another seven. Karen Doyle, two, seven, six, eight, two, seven, six, eight. Yeah, okay, so that one's 60. Thank you, Karen. Is that the one you just showed? Yes. Here's another scepter. Super loaded, look at that. Holy Christmas. That one's going down to 45 from 60. Two seven eight one. This is a little bit bigger one, double terminated. You can see there it's got all this cool growth. And skeletal up in there. Mama Bear two seven eight one. Thank you, Mama Bear. This is a little bit bigger one. Oh man, that one's loaded. They're all loaded. It's just crazy. Crazy stuff, I tell you what. Thank you. I tell you what, this stuff's so crazy. Oh my goodness. This one is a bigger one. It's marked 180. We're going to take 130 on that one. It's 
probably the big, one of the biggest ones in the box. I think there's one other one that's about that size. What else do we got? <clears throat> this is a really nice, sep really nice septa. Come on, good formation. Doesn't have much of the elestial growth. Yeah, I think there's a record keeper on there. It's got a secondary growth on the top, like the tip. Just grew a whole nother tip, kind of. And Yogi, what's up, buddy? You gonna you gonna lick my elbow? You know I need that elbow. Mm -hmm. You 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 you're shaking the rocks. <laughs> Avatar Christmas tree. That's right. It's definitely like that. Seventy five. We're gonna take sixty on that one. Two seven eight five. Nice little septa. This one's like a rocket ship. Rocket ship septa. It's got doubly terminated thing going on here. Yogi's licking my hand. What are you doing, Yogi? He's like, oh, come out, come outside and play with me. Mm -hmm. I don't care what time it is. Yogi's so sweet. What are you doing? <laughs> this is the rocket ship. It's just like... <sighs> Holy Christmas. That's amazing. I love this stuff. Quartz inclusions and never get they never get old. It's just they cause they always find more. There's always something new. 120, we're gonna take 95 on that. They always find something new. There's no end to the variety of quartz. There's the stumpy septa. Look at this stumpy. It's got all this growth. Doubly terminated alessiolation going on. Here's the stem. <laughs> Petroleum. Gonna be sixty dollars down from seventy five. Two seven eight seven is the skew. All right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna switch gears. I'll show you one more, and then we're gonna switch gears, and we're gonna do opals. What do you know about that? Unless you want to see a bunch more, and then you gotta speak up, because there's all there's another twenty pieces, thirty pieces, or something I could show you, but I'm not gonna show them all unless you really want to see them. But if you really want to see them, that means you gotta like be like, I want that one, and that one, that one, that one, yeah, and then I'll keep going. <laughs> it's good. These are great. Great little crystals here. Look at this amazing scepter. What's going on here? What's going on? Super cool. 125. We're going to make that one 100. Okie dokie. I didn't get any response about whether you wanted to see them all, so I'm going to move on. Okay. What are we going to do next? We're going to do opals. Opals, everybody's favorite. What was the second one showed price? Seven, 70 on that one, second one. 2772, that one's super cool. She's a super freak, super freak, a super scepter with oil, yeah. Super cool, all right, very nice. Opa. Time for Opal Heaven. No first, no, let's do Opal Heaven. All right, this is a big, big old fatty. Nice polish on the top. Big, huge piece, 24 grams. 
Gonna lower price today, this one. The uncheaply low price is going to be $250 on that. And it's much nicer. Don't forget that Opal is not gonna show up on the camera like it does in your eyeballs. And so when you get it, you're gonna be like, oh my God, it's so amazing. 250 on that. Uh, this one is an amazing, crazy piece. Crazy piece, nice flat piece. So much life, much more life than the camera will show you. Super freak, crazy. That one we're gonna do for 200. 200, amazing, it's incredible, it's Ethiopian opal. Look at all the opal color. Come on, opal, what are you doing? Do your thing. Do that thing. Come on, shake the stick. <laughs> Flashy. Ugh. It's not cooperating. 70 on that. Take 60 on that. <clears throat> this has got some nice blue, aqua blue ocean color. Big, fat, nice, thick piece. You could carve a face out of it. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll send it to Jack and he can make a wolf out of it. It's already got the ears and everything. Or you can do it. That would be uh, 150, 2358. No, no, they're not. There's an Ethiopian. I wish they were from down under. If they were from down under, they were, you could add a zero to all the prices or more. That's Their opals down there are crazy, but they're good. They're, it's amazing stuff. All right, this one here. Got $50 on that. Two, three, four, eight. This has got the tannish, brownish colored base. Man, the camera is not showing what I'm seeing very good at all. It's like, what are you doing, man? This is awesome. The camera's like, what's going on? Okay, there you go. Maybe we got to get the closer up so you can see it all. Anyways, it's a good piece. Mark 72 would take 60 on that. This one's staring at you. It's got its third eye staring at you too. It's saying, "It's, I'm, I'm a ninja turtle, and my third eye is open, and, and your wallet chakra is not open, and we're going to have to help you open it today." So look at all my flashy colors. I'm going to flash you with all my opaly. 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 Oh look, you can see behind on the inside. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Very nice. 
This one is 80. Oh look, a little buggy. He jumped on my opal, on my finger. Here, yeah, look, come on. Oh, there he goes. Very nice patterning, good opal and all up in there with all the colours and stuff, you can see it. That one, we do for 50. 50 dollar. Is it marked? 60. This is like striped type, so all these lines. Man, this is a, this piece is alive. Wow. Fifty dollars. Two three three seven. This one, will, this will cut a nice cabochon right here. It's a nice big thick round piece in there. You know, we got three dimensions and all that good stuff. You can cut your little cabochon. You know, put it in the wire wrap. You know, you turn it into a bead. You can do whatever you want with it. Make a little opal, opal jewel. Make an opal jewel. We can do that on fifty dollars, fifty-five, fifty dollars. Going once. Don't run out of room here soon. Mm. Pull it out of the way. Yep, we're going to do it. Oh, that's okay. Okay. okay, more opals. Because you love them. Everybody loves a good opal. You can get opal fever and then you are screwed because opals will take over your consciousness. They will visit you in your dreams and you will be like, oh my God, I have to have more opal. Opal fever is real. I did not believe it until I started to sell the opal and then they will visit me in my consciousness and be like, hey, what are you doing? You need to keep me and you need to buy me more of me and you need to distribute me because I'm pretty and everybody loves me, so... That's what the opal does. Oh, I'm going to get my elbow licked. What are you doing, Yogi? <laughs> Mr. Elbow Licker. Oh, there he goes. All right, that one there, we're going to do 75. Really nice, a beautiful, amazing piece. We'll cut a really nice cabochon. Good cutter. Good for cutting. And speed up the pace here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys even like these things, so we're gonna go a little faster and then maybe we'll find something else that you like. I don't even know what else I got to show you. There's a couple of things over there, maybe some bracelets and some slices and things. Here's a nice opal. We're gonna make that one $50. Super nice, super pretty. It's orange and all that stuff. Twenty-three fifty-one, Mama Bear. Thank you, dear. You got it. Ah, that one's Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. This one also fifty. Mm. 
Man, these are so much nicer. The camera's like, doesn't like it. It's so weird. When are they gonna make a phone that loves Opal? An Opal phone. We need a phone that just videos Opal and be like, oh my God, it's so real. It's incredible. <laughs> Somebody's gonna do it. 2339. You're gonna love this piece, Mama Bear. It's so cool because like the part that's not open or polished right there, you know, it's so hard to see. You can see Opal all over, like the whole thing. It's really nice. It's also 50. And this one is a little bit bigger. Super crazy. Thank you too, dear. I appreciate it. This one is marked 120. I'm going to take 100 bucks for that. 100 bucks. What a nice opal. Okie dokie. This one's got tons of life to it also. It's like got this grayish milky color to it on the inside and it's just like, oh my goodness. So much life. Look at all the way the zones there. It's got all these little segments and what you call it. It's so beautiful. This one's so crazy. This one is just like, I could get lost in it. It's marked at 145. We're going to take 111. 2363. This is a really nice piece. I promise you won't be, you won't be disappointed. You're going to get it. You'll be like, holy Christmas, what's going on here? This is not even, this can't even be real. It's still good. Oh, throwing stones. No. Trust he's throwing stones across the room. Careful. What do you mean? Be careful. Hey, what are you talking about? Be careful. Hey, take it easy. This one is a brownish colored opal. We got some pin fire going on here. Look at that. All the zoning here. Little little dots of pin fire going on. It's pretty cool. It's like little cauliflower patterns or something. Pin fire opal is really special. That one, forty-two dollars. We'll take thirty-five on that one. Little pin fire. It's a cutie. It's a cutie. Thirty-five. One, you got it, Mama Bear. Yogi, calm down, Bear. This is thirty-five. This one's got some pin fire too. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? This was an old piece. Oh yeah, Yogi, you're licking my elbow. You're making me. You're making the. You're making the rock move. What are you doing? <laughs> Do it again, Yogi. Here, watch my hand. Do it again. Give me a kiss. <laughs> He's not going to do it. My hands are like, oh, lick, lick, lick. <laughs> Silly dog. All right. There's some pin fire going on in here. This one's really deep. This one will cut a really nice stone. Ian, I saw you just showed up here. This is the one you want to cut right here. You're going to make a killing on it because it's underpriced. <laughs> Big time. This one's super good. It's got an old price on it. Yes, the yummy elbow. The dog is like, oh, it's nice and salty, so I'm going to tell you what's up. He always waits and writes until we're going to sit down for dinner, and then he comes over and he licks my elbow when I'm trying to eat dinner. And he's not begging for food. He begs for napkins. It's hilarious. We give him a napkin, and then he runs. He takes it across the room and chews it to pieces. No discount on this one. This one's underpriced. This one will cut a really nice stone. Super crazy pin fire. It's nice. 80 bucks on that. That's a steal for what that is. 30, 23.42. All right, we got this big one here. This one's super nice. 
Oh my gosh, it's so alive. I'm going to call iPhone and be like, what's going on? You need to put a camera on here that makes my Opals look better because my Opal, you know, they're much better in person. What are you, what's going on about that? This is a huge piece, 20 grams. Big old thick piece. We got that one at 350. Uh, we're gonna take 275. 275. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's incredible. It's opalicious beauty. All right. Is that all the opals? What else we got? Got some Larima here. I think that's all the opals. There's a couple more. Yeah, maybe we show this little one here. Oh yeah, this got some pin fire. Let's show this one too. Oh yeah, how could we forget this one here? Look, little blue pin fire. It's a small piece. It's a little bit thin, but it's got this blue pin fire that's to die for. It's like, oh my God, what are you gonna do with the blue pin fire? You gonna wire wrap it? Look, it's like a Y for wire wrapping. <laughs> oh my God, Rusty, it's horrible. No discounts on this one. $38. It's beautiful. You're going to love that. Got the blue base with the pin fire going on on that. That's, That's just pretty. like, yes, yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. Oh, yes, there's one more like that. Here's another one. All crazy pin fired out. Come on, camera, do your thing, damn it, show us the rock. Yeah, will you put a phone lighter there? No, 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 I've got plenty of light, it's fine. It's just the camera's weird with Opal, it's always like that. That one's also 38, no discounts on that. Nice pin fire, amazing shit. Those last two are the, are the pin fiery ones. And what's next? This is a random one off. This is a gem silica from Arizona. Little Raymine Jersey specimen. 1890. Good job. Thank you, Emily. That was 38. It's a gem silica from Raymine from 2012. Making it $50 even. You can make a nice piece of sparkling druzy. What's up, Yogi? All right, T. We got some Laramar. We're gonna show a few of these. We'll finish with the opal. So some pretty good Laramar cabs. You can see that. Got the little what you call it? Turtle back thingy going on. I'm gonna do that for 35, 15, 48, 35. Laramar. Classic, classic Laramar with the good Caribbean blue color. This one is $50. Karen Doyle, I see you, $15.48 for you. So this one, $15.45 is $50. This one is $35, Karen Doyle. Got a little bit of transparency going on. And also $50 on that. Nice little round guy. Some cool stuff going on in there. $40. 
40 bucks on that one. Four zero. It's the thinner one. It shows the nice translucency. Beautiful color. Also forty dollars. Fifteen forty-four. Forty-four for forty dollars. We got one more. It's the nice big fatty that everybody's been waiting for. It's like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? It's the biggest Laramar I've ever seen. No, it's just kidding. It's beautiful though. Oh, doggy sleeping. Mm -hmm. Big. That one's too, too thick. Big hunker. This one is marked 300 and it's a huge piece. Tonight we will take special price of $240. What's next? What do we have next? We already showed this one. We're running out of rocks, people. We're running out of table space, too. Okay. This and that. And then we've got problems. What do we do first? Let's do. I guess we'll. I guess we'll do this one. All right. So we've got some meteorite wire wraps. These are Muana Luosta. Muana Lusta, which has way too many vowels in it. It's from uh, Finland. Muana Luosta meteorite. It's got a little Herkimer up in the top, which you can't see behind this little thing here. Wire wrapped in sterling silver. It's really nice. Moana Lusta. Moana Lusta. This one is $90. 1818. 90. Moana Lusta. Herkimer at the top. Very nice. Meteorite. This one is 100. Here's a rectangular one. Rectangular one. It's pretty. It's a, this one, a little bitty, little bitty Herkimer up in there. This one is $80. $80. All right. Next up, we have the triangular one that is looking like this. And it has got a Herkimer diamond. There is even a lag on my own screen. If I go too fast, it is jumpy, jumpy tonight. I don't know if it is jumpy, jumpy for you too. But I can tell you, you need the to open the wallet chakra. Mm. You're talking about palisite. I do not have any. The only palisite I have is a big, big, huge slice. Not huge, but it's like I have one. Uh, it's like this big. And it's like fifteen hundred dollars or something. Maybe it's maybe it's a little less. I don't know, twelve hundred like that. It's in that range. But I don't have any other palisites. Um, I did find a connection to get some palisite bracelets, but they're very expensive. So I don't know if I'm going to go for that or not. Okay, that's all the meteorite pendants for tonight. And this is the magic. It's incredible. Malachite stalactite with chrysocolla and cornetite and heterogenite. This is amazing, incredible stuff. The black here is heterogenite. There's two colors of blue here. There's chrysocolla on the outside. 
Man, this is lagging, it's crazy. And then the dark blue is Cornetite there. And of course we got Velvet Chatoyant Malachite. We got four minerals going on here. Man, my phone is really glitching out here. What's going on? Seriously, this is fucked up. <laughs> it's like got a serious lag for me. Huh. I've never had that happen before. Here's the backside. Look at all this like cauliflower things going on up in here. Man, it's a crazy piece. Shooey, I'll tell you what. Nice big fatty polished slice. Man, I just froze. <laughs> what the fuck? You're moving on mine. No, I'm froze. It's done. I have to stop the damn thing. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> this is crazy. Is look, line? look. Oh. Mark, you want to trade? No, it's not. This is totally glitching out. I'm going to have to cancel this. I mean, I can't just turn it on with your phone. This is super weird. Hope you guys can hear me, but I'm going to have to stop this. This is so crazy. Look, it's done. It's like dead. I All good on your side. My phone is totally glitching out. <laughs> so I'm going to have to turn off the video. And yeah, I'm, I have a huge lag. I can't, you guys are good. I'm glad you can see it, but I can't see shit. So I'm going to turn this off and I'll come right back. And we'll see you in a minute.